Here we go again. So welcome everybody. Today is January the 2nd, 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. It's the beginning of, of 2021, a new year. And not just a new year as well. This is kind of, um, we are getting into a, a new, I would say a new era as well. It's not just a, a new year. So there is this, there is this, this kind of feeling that we are getting into something. We're getting into a new groove. Let's let's put it that way, meaning a new um, a new way of being. And so, welcome to channeling Kriya. And the today is also a high energy day. Is this a new wave of energy that that came in? I actually started feeling it last night. And this morning, it's um, everybody reacts to the this boost of energy in different ways. Some people may feel particularly tired. Some people may feel really energized, like one one of uh, one or the the other, depending on your. I think depending really on what your body needs. So just to give everybody a, um, a brief intro to the rest of the evening. So I'm going to lead everybody into a short meditation. And then, and then when the energy is kind of when I'm, when, when I am aligned and the energy starts to come in, then channeling starts. And I have no idea how long it's going to be or how short it's going to be. When it's done, it's done. And after that, we will have a, um, a time to chat, questions, or any kind of sharing uh, a welcome. And that's our evening. So without any more delays, let's begin. Let's begin by just everybody putting our mind to just um, turning inward turning inward to ourselves to just relax, take a deep breath in and let it all go and just start to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention that you want to gradually elongate your breath so that you're at least counting five, counting up to five for your breathing in and counting five on your breathing out. If you can do it longer, that's even better, but um, at least make it five or just ease yourself into being able to breathe in for the count of five and breathe out for the count of five as well. This will start to give a signal to your body that you are ready to relax. Relax your body, relax your thinking, and just be comfortable in your body. And let go of anything that is distracting you in this moment. and let go of any um, anxiety or worries about things that happened earlier in the day or things that you need to do after this or tomorrow. Just be with yourself, with your body, with your soul, with your breathing in this moment. Just be wherever it is that you are at, right here, right now.
start to shift your focus into your heart. Your heart hears communication from your soul. You may hear it in the form of thoughts, or you may get the communication in the form of simply feelings, a sense of groundedness, a sense of peace. When you lean into your heart and your soul, So just pay attention to that. Pay attention to the stillness that is within your heart. And every time you breathe in, imagine that you're actually breathing in to your heart. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that is weighing on your heart. Let it go. It does not belong there. And simply choose to become more present with yourself. Set the intention that you want to feel your heart, feel your soul, feel your entity or your earth soul. And feel your body And, and set the intention that you want to synchronize all parts of you, all the physical and non-physical parts of you, synchronize, harmonize, and allow all of you to be coherent. And be connected to your higher self as well, the highest vibration version of you that you have access to in this moment. Hold the intention that you want to align with that highest version of you that you have access to while you're in this body. and feel unconditional love for yourself. Choose, choose to feel that. Choose to feel unconditional love for yourself. Unconditional love is who we truly are when we are connected with our soul our true self. You may or may not be comfortable to love yourself and accept yourself unconditionally. However, in this moment, choose to the best of your ability. Choose to love yourself unconditionally and choose to accept all of you without any judgment, good or bad. Let go of all the labels. You are you. No matter what you do, you are still you. No matter what experience you have created for yourself, you are still you.
choose to love who you are in this moment unconditionally and accept all of you, physical and non-physical, in this moment. And as you feel unconditional love for yourself, connect with Mother Earth, with this unconditional love. Send love to Mother Earth and feel Mother Earth returning your love a million times over. Choose to be able to feel that connection, that love connection between you and Mother Earth. And also send love to Father Sky, to the sun. The sun represents everything that is beyond Mother Earth. Send love to Father Sky as well. And feel Father Sky returning your love a million times over. And know that you have very, very much left. And allow this love to start to grow. from being simply a choice in your mind and let it be a choice that is harmonized and synchronized with your soul, with all parts of you. To start to truly feel that for yourself Yes, life on earth has not been easy. And we have all felt feelings, had experiences, had co-created many stories to convince ourselves that we are not good enough. And those are all simply stories. They were stories that we so convincingly created and co-created that we almost convinced ourselves that they were true. And they are true only from a certain point of view. They are your creations. If you allow them to be true, if you believe them to be true, you hold them to, to be true, then they will become true for you. But for us, for spirit, we know that they are not. We know that they are simply a story. A story that you have scripted, recruited all the people to play their part for you. And you have 
made such a wonderful production parade of realities to convince yourself that they were true and they were not. They were simply a well-scripted play, a creation. But oh, what a colorful creation. You almost have you convinced that this is you, this story that has been going on so long in your life that you thought that you are that story. You are that fictional character that you play in that story. And we would like to remind you that you are not. You're the creator of that story. You're the producer, you're the director, and you are the actor of that story. It was quite a ride, quite a rush, quite an experience. And if you really want to continue on with that production, then carry on. It's your show. You can hang on to that for as long as you want. We don't judge you. We love you unconditionally. However, since you're here, we would like to remind you that it's simply a story, simply a creation. And that when you are ready to create something else, that you will be supported to create a completely different plot line, completely different characters, completely different hero or heroine of the story. You think you're set. You think you are solid. You think you are who you believe you are. And you're not. You are so much more. You are the one that has the power to choose something different, to choose a new reality for you so powerfully. That heaven and earth was help you to go and recruit the supporting actors and actresses. All of that, the energy support you to create whatever it is that really resonate with your soul. So really, be very careful. Be very sincere. Be very vulnerable with yourself, with your soul. I really start to feel what truly gives you joy?
What gives you joy? What does your heart desire? What is truly within your soul? Allow that part of you to stand up, to be recognized. It has always been there. You, the real you, it has always been there. It is just that it has been buried under so many different layers of fear, of not knowing who you are, of wanting to please other people, of wanting to deserve and earn their love. My dear, love does not have to be earned. What you earn is not love. Who you are is love. Does not have to be earned. Who you are requires no effort requires no evidence at all, requires no action, requires no pretense. Get back to who you truly are. This is truly what the new, what this new level of experience is about. It's about discovering, discovering the you that has been buried. And there will be feelings that comes up that convince you that who you are is not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not young enough. You're not tall enough. You're not smart enough. You're not popular enough. All of those they are just words. Words that you somehow have given power to. Thoughts that you have somehow given power to. You are the power. You are the power. You are the universe. You are the creator. Let that sink in. None of those words mean anything to the real you. Who you truly are is not defined by words.
the person who reacts to words like those is not the real person. They are simply a made up creation for you to experience and not the real you. So you don't have to defend that person. You don't have to defend that story anymore. Simply see it for what it is, a story. Oh, wow. Another novel. If you like the novel, if you like the experience that these words and stories do for you and carry on. And if you don't, then simply allow yourself to close that book, put it down. Let it go. You're not attached to that book. It's simply a book, simply a story. It is not a guarantee. It is not a curse. It's none of those. Simply your creation. Your soul in all its vibrancy. In all its sincerity. is simply playing, taking on these stories, trying it on. And creating these experiences. And now you can actually change those stories. You can change the story by realizing that you actually created them. You are the creator. Knowing that they are your creations really allow you to start to refocus and start to realize how much power you actually have to create what it is that you actually want to experience. Feel, feel the new person, feel the real you, the creator you. Get in touch with that. If the old stories keep coming up, then stop, stop resisting them. There's no need to resist them. 
because they are simply a creation. Why would you resist your own creation? It is like fighting with your shadow. Why would you want to do that? No need to. It's your creation. So simply create something else, something that you actually prefer to experience. Once you realize that you wanted something different and no need to resist the old, simply realize that it's your creation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me in this wonderful creation. That was quite a ride. I enjoyed it. And now I'm ready for something else. And choose. Choose that new experiences and choose all of the nuances that you need to be in order to experience all of that. New creation. And really enjoy choosing the new creation. Sink into who you become. Who you truly want to feel. In that new creation. Be that person. You are way more than one of your creations. You are an infinite creator. You can create so many varieties of experiences. Just get in touch, allow that creator within you to finally be able to stand up and walk. Walk in that being, being the creator of your life. And let anything that does not resonate with that, let those go. You are the creator.
You are the experiencer. You are all that and so much more. That's who you truly are. Infinite possibilities. We have seen you created. So many magical experiences for yourself. And we have no doubt that you will create so many more magical experiences for yourself. We know who you are, who you truly are. And they are not the stories that you are telling yourself. They are not your internal dialogue. Who you are. It's beyond words. Beyond the comprehension of your wildest mind can conceive of in this moment. You have so much more to come start to explore how powerful you actually are. We simply want you to start, to begin, to connect with that part of you. And to remind you that if you don't like what your head is saying to you, there is no obligation to listen to them. Those are simply words. They have no meaning unless you believe in their meaning. When you start to discover and connect with that part of you that is bigger than you can possibly imagine in this moment. That's when the magic starts. That is why you keep on self-sabotaging. You keep on distracting yourself. You can distract all you want. Who you are is not changing. 
is not going anywhere. Who you truly are will still be there. You can take as long as you care to go around the scenic path to explore every distraction to your heart's desire. And after all that, you are still the creator. You can create stories and experiences to give away your power. And we want to remind you that your power is infinite. No matter how much you give it away, you still have a lot left. It's not possible to permanently, irrevocably give away your power. They are who you are. We are beyond this body. And who you are is there for you to discover, should you choose to. Connect with that part of you. That is the only connection only connection that is worthy of your time. Feel that. Feel that feeling. Not the feeling that has all the thoughts and the worries. Not that one. Look beyond that. Notice the part of you that is witnessing all your worries. Connect with that. Connect with the witness to the part of you that is experiencing. That is experiencing all of your creation. Notice that one, the witness. The witness has no judgment. It does not tell you that you're stupid. Why do you want to create this? That's not the voice you want to listen to. Notice the one that is simply experiencing all your creations 
without any judgment. That is simply there, always there with you. Sometimes playful. Sometimes serious. But always without judgment. Always simply allowing. Notice that part of you and make friends with that part of you. Be familiar. with the part of you that is simply enjoying all of the creations that part of you that knows beyond a reasonable doubt beyond a reasonable doubt knows what it has created and does not judge, does not see good nor bad, but simply sees that is a powerful ally to have. Be familiar with that part of you. Tap into that. Tap into that field. that allows you to create and observe so seamlessly and know that that is the most authentic part of you that you have access to. All the time. If you so choose. For us. We are in that. We are part of the field that supports you. We are part of that that is here to remind you that you're identifying with your creation, with the stories, the stories are not you. I would like to remind you to look beyond and connect with the part of you that is experiencing and witnessing all of that, all of your creations.
Creations come and go. But the creator, creator, creator is always the same, always there, always the rock that you can count on. And you are that rock. There is so much more about you that you don't know. And you're on this journey to find out. And we're so happy. assist you and help you and remind you that you are the creator pay attention to the part of you that is creating all of this Identify with that part of you. Allow this peaceful, powerful part of you to become your constant companion. Becoming this version of you. This. What you're here to do. What you're here to discover and learn. It is a little funny that you're here to listen to us when we are here. To enjoy your creations. We are here to support you. We are simply the support staff. You are the main attraction. Did you not know that? One day you will remember that. You are simply on this journey of discovering and remembering that. And we know, we already know that you will remember and discover at your own time. And we love you, we support you.
on your way to walk this journey one step at a time, one day at a time. To create that illusion of time. Because we know it's already done. We love you. Just want to thank you. We just want to thank you for doing this, for taking on this journey. being the creator of this journey, this journey that is going to enrich everyone. To enrich every aspect of this one soul that we all are. Thank you, thank you, 